Hello everybody, Paul with High Tech Legion here. I'm going to show you the BIOS of the Asus P8 P67 WS Revolution. Um, right now we're in easy mode and easy mode basically shows you temperatures, voltage, CPU fan speeds, boot priority. You could also have some simple uh, system settings uh, for quiet performance and energy saving. If you click up here, you go to advanced mode, and advanced mode is where you can set all your BIOS uh, manually. This is the main section. It basically shows you basic information. AI tweaker. As you can see, you have your tar target CPU turbo mode. I have it set to uh, OC tuner right now, which automatically sets the uh, all cores to 43 on a multiplier and 103 on your base clock frequency. As you can see, the AI overclock tuner is set to manual. As we scroll down here, we can see the differences. Uh, internal PLL or over voltage I do have enabled. DDR3 is at 1922. Power saving mode is disabled. OC tuner again, you just click on that, it automatically overclocks your uh, turbo core for you. DRAM timing and controls. If you click on that, it will bring you to all your timings. CPU power management. That uh, helps you with your Intel Speed Step technology turbo mode and your duration and power limits. Down below, we have our voltages, etc. Load line calibration, VRM frequency. As you can see, I have that set to 370. Originally, had this clock to 49 and 103, giving me uh, 5,047 megahertz on the turbo core. Phase control I have set to extreme. You have different settings for that. Standard, optimized, extreme, manual adjustment. Duty control I set to T-probe. Depending on what I'm doing I might set it to extreme. CPU current, CPU voltage, manual voltage, DRAM voltage, VC, CSA voltage, I.O. voltage, and PLL voltage, as well as PCH voltage. PLL and PCH, I found no benefits from uh, changing that. They usually work correctly at all times, and you can just keep them to auto if you are overclocking your computer. Next, we'll go to the advanced. Advanced gives you your configurations. You have your CPU configuration. CPU ratios, adaptive thermal monitoring, everything that you go through, you, could, you have different settings. This one I have set to disable, which is the uh, limit CPU ID maximum that is disabled. And of course, virtualization technology, sorry. And turbo mode. We go back, you go for your PCH configuration, SATA configuration, ACHI mode. I have everything, uh, I have the smart status enabled. Everything else I have uh, disabled at this time, only have one uh, hard drive in the system. USB configuration, that'll just set up your legacy support. Onboard devices audio controller, the type it is, your USB 3.0 controller, via controller, marble storage controller, LAN controller, etc. Next we can go back to uh, that and go to your APM. This is basically uh, for power loss, etc. and where you power on by maybe hitting a keyboard and doing some shortcuts. Over here is your monitor. This monitor is your temperatures, motherboard temperatures, CPU fan profiles, etc. As we scroll down, you have the, you have the option to uh, turn them on, turn them off, enable them. And it will also show you your voltages of your CPU. And of course, make sure you do have your anti-surge support enabled. 
Next option would be your boot. You have your number lock state, full screen logo. Uh, I don't like to look at the full screen logo. I like to see my uh, computer's post. So I have that disabled. Post report is set for five seconds. Of course, option ROM messages is forced BIOS. Setup mode is easy mode. I always go into easy mode. Sometimes I don't feel like going into advanced. I just want to change something real quick. And last but not least, you have your tools, which would be your Asus Easy Flash Utility, which would help you flash your BIOS. OC Profile, you can store overclocking profiles on this, so you can just change profiles when you need it. And then, of course, your SPD information. And that'll show you your RAM, etc. And to show the overclocking profile, I don't have any uh, set at this time, I just do it manually, I usually use one setting. Of course, click exit. Once you do exit, you got load optimized defaults, change and reset, disca discard changes, ACES easy mode, and launch EFI shell. And then, there you have it. That would be a quick overview of the BIOS on the ASUS P8 P67 WS Revolution motherboard. Thank you.